Iran is reportedly keen to acquire China's J-10 fighter jet and not going ahead with powerful Russian jets. However, one may be left wondering why Iran didn't show interest in the Pakistani JF-17 Thunder and how it stacks up against the J-10C. While the exact reason for Tehran's preference for the Chinese fighter over the Russian ones remains unknown, Russian aviation portal Avia. Pro-quoted experts as saying say that it may depend on the costs involved and type of fighter aircraft. The Russian fighters are twin-engine heavy variants compared to the Chinese single-engine advanced lightweight multi-role fighter jet, the J-10. Nevertheless, one may be left wondering why Iran didn't show interest in the Pakistani JF-17 Thunder and how it stacks up against the J-10C. While the JF-17 and the J-10 are unlikely to see any confrontation in the future, it should be interesting to know as to why even the PLA Air Force isn't using the Pakistani jet the JF-17. The JF-17 Thunder in 1989, U.S. aerospace firm Grumman and China were about to develop Super 7 aircraft and upgraded and redesigned Chengdu F-7. But the project got cancelled due to a sudden change in bilateral ties between the U.S. and China. In 1999, China and Pakistan signed an agreement to develop a low-cost aircraft with the same name Super 7, exclusively for Pakistan Air Force, that was seeking a replacement for aging A5, Mirage 3 Mirage and F-7 aircraft. This came to be known as the JF-17 Thunder, a lightweight and cheaper multi-role fighter tailor-made for Pakistani requirements. The newest iteration of the aircraft, the JF-17 Block 3, carries an advanced ESA radar, KLJ-7, a three-axis digital fly-by-wire flight control system, an infrared search and track system, a helmet-mounted display, and sight system produced jointly by Pakistan and China. A missile approach warning system similar to the one used on the Chinese J-10C, J-16, and J-20, and a new, larger, and thinner holographic wide-angle head-up display, similar to the one used on the J-10C and J-20, are also added to this latest version. However, the Block 3 version is far from serial production, since it is undergoing various tests. Many of the Block 3 features are already present on the J-10 versions, currently in service with the Chinese PLA Air Force. The J-10C Being the latest in its family, the J-10C is also a single-engine multi-role fighter, however is heavier than the JF-17 and uses better engines. J-10 thrust weight 1.16 and JF-17 thrust weight 0.95. It has a delta wing and canard design and has been constantly upgraded with advanced avionics in Chinese inventory. Compared to the JF-17, the J-10C has four more hardpoints, allowing it to carry much more weapons and fuel, a significant increase in its capability. Interestingly, the J-10 also boasts an increased ferry range of 6,000 km, compared to just 3,500 km for the JF-17, with drop tanks. The J-10 can also go faster, with the maximum speed being over Mach 2, while JF-17's Block 2's speed is restricted to Mach 1.6. Currently, the Saturn Lyalka Al-31 FN afterburning turbofan engines employed on the J-10 produce 79.43 kN thrust, dry, and 125 kN with afterburner. While the Klimov RD-93 afterburning turbofan engine on board the JF-17 with DEC generates only 49.4 kN thrust dry and 84.4 kN with an afterburner. While the technical parameters seem to be going against the Pakistani JF-17 fighter jet, one should not lose sight of their distinctive roles and varying flight performance envelopes. Both aircraft carry a similar weapon profile, but for a country like Iran looking for fighter jets after protracted sanctions, the J-10 makes more sense than the Pakistani JF-17 Thunder fighter jet.